Greetings to everyone of you. In this video, we are going to discuss fuzzy semen clustering algorithm. This is a popular unsupervised machine learning algorithm. Unlike uh, k-means clustering, it allows a data point can be a member of multiple clusters with uh, varying degree of membership values the value of the probability. For example, if you consider the number of data points are here and we have the clusters, cluster 1 and cluster 2 and the points may be the member of both the clusters. So like uh, some of the points maybe there is 80 percent inside uh, cluster C1 and 20 percent inside uh, C2. Similarly, some of the points that is 40 percent uh, inside uh, C1 and 60 percent um, inside C2. So, this kind of uh, you know the probability it is uh, incorporated in this algorithm. So, it is a soft clustering technique. Let us see the various steps of this algorithm. Number 1 initialize the membership table with uh, random values. We have to assign the values randomly again the sum should not exceed 1. Step 2 calculate the centroids using the formula vij is equal to summation of k is equal to 1 to n mu ik to the power m into xk divided by summation k is equal to 1 to n mu ik. Here n represent the number of data points and this mu represent this membership value xk is the data point and m is the fuzziness parameter normally we used to assign a value that is 2 for it k is number of clusters step number 3 we calculate the distance between the data points and this calculate calculated the centroid values so this can be done with the help of uh, the euclidean distance formula d is equal to square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square in which um, x2, y2 are the values of the data points and uh, x1, y1 are the values of the centroids. Update the membership table using the formula mu ki is equal to summation j is, j is equal to 1 to n d ki whole square divided by d k j whole square to the power 1 divided by m minus 1 and whole covered by power minus 1 it's taking the inverse. So, this uh, d k j k i d k j are the calculated distances. Step number 5 we have to repeat the steps 2 to 4 till there is no change in the calculated value with the existing value or if the difference between the calculated and the existing value if it is greater than 0 0.01 we have to proceed. Let me explain this algorithm with the help of an example. These are the given data points 1 comma 2, 2 comma 5, 4 comma 7, 6 comma 8. So, the first step of the algorithm we have to initialize this membership table. So, these are the points that is given. We have two clusters here C1 and C2 in which uh, I have to that is uh, give this membership values. These membership values are that is assigned randomly. We have to keep one thing in our mind that whenever we are assigning this value the summation of the value should not exceed 1 0 0.7 0 0.3 if you add this to you will get 1. So, in such a way we have assigned the values this is 0 0.6 0 0.4 0 0.1 0 0.9 0 0.2 0 0.8. Step number 2 calculate the centroids the centroids can be calculated with the help of this formula this formula already have seen. So, just substitute the values in the formula. 
so this point 7 it is nothing but the value of the membership value that is mu value it is 0 0.7 into this xk it is nothing but the data the first component of the first data point okay similarly 0 0.62 0 0.6 to the power 2 it is nothing but this particular member member membership function into 2 the first data we have to there is incorporate the first component of the data points okay so 1 2 4 6 so that is uh, what i have underlined here 1 2 4 6 so we have to take the sum the overall sum you have to multiply with the membership value and you have to take the overall sum okay so that is a formula summation of summation k is equal to 1 to n mu i k to the power m into x k the power is nothing but uh, fuzzy parameter okay so m is equal to 2 so that is how actually we got this square here okay so in denominator we have just the summation of the membership function membership values so it is 0 0.7 square to the power uh, m nothing but uh, the fuzzy parameter 0 0.6 square 0 0.1 square plus 0 0.2 square if you perform the calculation you will get the answer that is uh, 2.056 this is the first centroid of the first component we are using the first component of the data set similarly we have to calculate the first centroid of the second component so in which you have to use 0 0.7 and uh, you have to use the second data that is the second component of the data point 2 5 7 8 so there is a underlined here 2 5 7 8 so remaining all other uh, values are as it is in the previous one we got the result that is 3.522 so it is the first centroid of the second component this is first centroid of second component then the second centroid of first component it is uh, 0 0.3 square into 1 so now we have to use um, okay the next value 0 0.3 0 0.4 0 0.9 and 0 0.8 for the first data that is 1 2 4 and 6 similarly the same thing for the second data 0 0.3 square into 2 5 7 8 so now you got the value that is this is uh, 4.405 and this is uh, 6.932 these are the centroids so we have two centroids that is uh, 2.056 3.522 4.405 step number 3 calculate the distance between the data points and the centroids using the Euclidean distance formula d is equal to square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square in which this x2 y2 these are the data points and this x1 y1 are the centroids simply just you have substitute in the equation so it is 1 minus 2.056 whole square plus 2 minus 3.522 whole square so here this one is nothing but the data points 1 and 2 are the data points and uh, this uh, 2.056 and 3.522 it is nothing but the the first centroid values okay similarly we have to that is uh, do it for the second centroid value 4.405 6.932 for the same data points 1 and 2 okay so similarly we can do it for uh, other data points that is uh, 2, 5, 4, 7 and 6, 8. We got the results, final values. If you compare these values, if you compare these two values, this is the smaller one. So that means this particular point that is 1, 2, it belongs to cluster 1. Similarly, here the point 2, 5, 
in which if you compare these two this particular value 1.21 it is uh, lesser so again this 2 comma 5 it belongs to cluster 1 similarly the 0.47 in which if you compare these two 0.41 which is a smaller one so that means the point belongs to cluster c2 similarly 68 the the point belongs to the cluster c2 comparatively it is a minimum value the next step of this algorithm is update uh, membership table so that can be done with the help of um, this formula mu k i is equal to summation j is equal to 1 to n the distance k i square divided by distance k j square to the power whole 1 by m minus 1 and the entire thing should be that is uh, powered by minus 1 so that is uh, inverse so initially the membership function that is uh, for uh, 1 1 so in which you have to consider the distance that is 1 1 similarly divided by d 1 1 d 1 1 divided by d 1 2 you substitute the values from this uh, distance table so it is uh, d 1 1 is nothing but uh, 1.85 whole square divided by 1.85 whole square plus 1.85 whole square by this uh, d 1 2 d 1 2 is a uh, 5.99 square and to the power actually this value 1 divided by 2 minus 1 is nothing but um, 1 by 1 only so that, that will not make any significant change so then applying this inverse we will get the value that is uh, 0 0.91 similarly for uh, the membership value that is 1 2 for which this is a formula see that is uh, d12 consider the value that is d12 d12 divided by d11 then d12 divided by d12 so it is uh, 5.99 whole square divided by 1.85 square plus 5.99 square divided by 5.99 whole square so again we have this um, 1 divided by there is m minus 1 m, m is nothing but this um, fuzziness parameter okay that is we consider the value m is equal to 2 so now we got the value that is uh, 0 0.09 if you add these two you will get the value that is 1 similarly for um, mu 2 1 and mu 2 2 we got the value 0 0.87 0 0.13 if you add these two you will get uh, value 1 similarly for uh, mu 3 1 mu 3 2 we got the value that is 0 0.01 0 0.99 even if you add this 2, you will get value 1. That is probability 1. Always it should be equal to 1. Similarly, for mu 4, 1, 4, 2, we got the value 0 0.09 and 0 0.91. And finally, uh, just I updated this um, membership table with the help of newly calculated membership values. What are the values we calculated? Just those values are uh, that is entered here. 0 0.87, 0 0.13, 0 0.11, 0 0.99, 0 0.09, 0 0.91. So final step, you have to repeat step 2 to 4 till the calculated value is equal to the existing value or if the difference is more than this 0 0.01. So that is a tolerance value. If it is greater than that, we have to proceed. We have to do the steps again that is uh, till we get the convergence. I hope uh, you understood the concept. I explain um, the algorithm and also I explain um, with the help of uh, this example. Thank you. Keep watching.